I mean, the side pods are noticeably smaller. Yeah, they're very. They haven't small. got the bulge. It's, it's got a very skinny arse. Small. The Ferrari has lovely side pods. It's got no bulge and it's got a skinny arse. You've heard it here. Do you like? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up and sit down. Okay. Hello, and welcome to the F1 show that's had more names than weeks on the air. <laughs> so, lads. It's actually a fact. <laughs> it is a fact, yeah. <laughs> it's very true. I beat you to the fact of the day, Josh. I'm we, Josh Sherry, by the way. Mm, hello. Lads, let's actually get started with a fact of the day. Yeah, so let's start, start with a fact. Let's, let's start with the fact of the day. Yeah. Do you want me to turn down the headphones? No. No, no, no. Okay. It's perfect. <laughs> it's getting me really hyper. Okay. <laughs> well, lads, as you know, the season usually starts. <laughs> uh, if this was 1998 the season would have started would be in Australia and Mika Hakkinen would have won the Australian Grand Prix already yes already but it would have been in controversial circumstances because uh, David Coulthard moved over on the penultimate <coughs> lap to let him by Coulthard <laughs> Coulthard <laughs> um, do, do you know why? Because, because shit. second driver Mika Hakkinen pitted by accident because his radio wasn't working no it's not that it wasn't working Ron Damn. Dennis claims that his radio was hacked 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 and they told him to let him through and uh, they told him to come into the pits bullshit and he came into the pits but didn't actually stop he just did a drive through and came out behind then uh, behind Coulthard and uh, Coulthard let him by in the penultimate lap but the reason he, he did that they had an agreement at the start of the Grand Prix. Whoever made it into turn one first, because they were they locked out the grid, yeah, uh, would would go on to win the would go on to win the race. Okay, provided the two of them finished the race. Provided the two of them finished the race. But even though uh, <laughs> Hakkinen had a, an extra pit stop, everyone was lapped. They lapped everyone. That's amazing. Ninety eight McLaren was very quick. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, there you go. But uh, this went on to lead to. The FIA bring in uh, that any future act of prejudi- pre- pre- prejudicial uh, to the interests of competition should be severely punished. So basically, this was the start of the banning of team orders. Can you imagine this now? Can you imagine this nowadays? Oh, Rubens! S- someone, someone actually like hijacking the mics. It's like Sebastian Pitt now, Pitt now, Pitt now, Sebastian. <laughs> Surely though, like, it's a bad. Mika sign. is faster than you. Nobody really? laughed at me. Multi twenty ones. <laughs> it's a bad sign of the time, is though, when you don't know your own race engineer's voice. That's actually a good point. That's an excellent point. Maybe they fucked up. <laughs> Did they did. fuck up? They had to, they had <laughs> they to mess up. I mean, are these not closed frequencies? Yeah, well, like they're not. They're closed in so far as there's probably an encoding on them. Sure, mm. what was it? The informal. Imagine if it was Ferrari <laughs> in an Italian accent. It's such a device. <laughs> I can't do it. Can you? Anyone do an Italian accent? <laughs> Porsche now. Goodbye. <laughs> He says, like, Sebastian, Mam- Sebastian, stay calm, stay calm, Sebastian. What the Ferrari? Right, he's from Tralee. Yeah, I was going to say. That's a Porsche now, good boy. <laughs> That's the Ferrari man. Give, give, give it all, give it all, Ted. Will you push on there? No, will you? Huh? <laughs> will I? Right, so week two of testing. <clears throat> We're halfway through it, aren't we? Or three quarters of the way through it. Three quarters of the way through, yeah. Yes, yes, yeah. I mean, you could have gesticulated or you could have turned it on yourself. Ooh, laptop. I don't know the password. Ooh, password. I know the password. It's not week Ooh, two. Password. Fintan has the It's the, the second week. I have the time. What is it? Second week? Testing. It's day seven of test. Exactly, it's day seven. <laughs> or is it day eight? No, it's day three. <clears throat> let's, up t- let's point out the elephant in the room. 117.1 Kevin Magnuson is second fastest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is the elephant in the room. That is most definitely the elephant in the room. On the super soft. Uh, yeah, again, not on the hyper. It's, it's an alright lap time. It's, it's not even like, not even ultra soft. It's super soft. I think it's two compounds harder. So and are we saying Haas world champions? Gunther's got the top nine <laughs> I mean, yes. we said Haas was going to be second last. We did. Are, are we changing that? No. We're reading so much into testing. <laughs> so wait, does this mean that um, we could have a Charles Leclerc world champion if everything we're saying is wrong? Uh, no. <clears throat> no, everything we're saying is not wrong. I must have praise you know credit where credit is due and that's not said often on this show in fact I think it's the first time it's ever been said on this show <laughs> yeah. uh, Luke did make an excellent point on the last podcast that we would see many many breakdowns he did. credit to you we have well, Thank you. and I would like to make another point that Robert Kubica is faster than Stroll again on a harder compound 
I mean, but you the reason said, he wasn't hired is because it, it, because he can't turn the tires on. I mean, it looks like he's turning the tires you, on. Yeah, it looks very good. You just said don't read into testing, but yet you're talking about qubits have been quicker than straw. We're testing. not reading into testing. What are we going to well, read Well, no, into? this is like... <laughs> we, you also said a few weeks ago about it, like in comparison to each other, you can look at it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm looking at the two Williams And straws better than qubits up. So what we're going to say then is that... <laughs> Finton, back me up. Uh, yeah, Stroll Daddy! Qubitza is the, Daddy, the best driver Williams has. So, no, wait, wait, though, right? Is it, is it, or what you're saying now is that Red Bull is one of the slowest cars in the grid because they're on a softer compound than Mercedes and they're, a se- what is it, 0.3 of a second slower? Oh, no, no. I'm just saying, in, with the two Williams on the same day, that's all I'm looking at. Like, uh, to be honest with you, looking at that, that absolutely useless. Like, Haas are still going to be second last. I'm going to make a bull claim. Go on. Robert Kubica will race in a Grand Prix this year. <laughs> replacing <laughs> replacing who? That is a good call. It mightn't even be for Williams. <laughs> That's oh, actually, oh, no one has predicted that. <laughs> That's actually an RA idea. I, I genuinely, look, as Who's test drivers are going, as to put someone in the car yeah. to, to get a decent result, he's up there I, I don't see anyone who's, else who who's it going to be in. Brenton, who's it going to be Brendan Hartley I don't see Brendan Hartley sticking it out I don't see Pierre Gasly sticking out they're both rubbish well no no it's just rubbish. every year at Tower also they're just so equal and we just call them rubbish no, every year we've seen the same with Jerome Custard <laughs> D'Ambrosio <laughs> <laughs> uh, who was your man with, who was your man with the glasses hi, hi, man, that I... went to NASCAR Scott, oh, Sebastian me. Bourdais Sebastian Bourdais yeah. he was a brilliant he was a driver. brilliant he driver won, he, won, was a, he won the IndyCar four times didn't he or whatever it was called back then yeah. Yeah. don't watch IndyCar car, car, whatever the f- he won the IndyCar <laughs> <laughs> the IndyCar there is one IndyCar <laughs> he won it a in a raffle <laughs> <laughs> number 11 and IndyCar scrap the aero kits <laughs> possibly talking about aero kits uh, that was a shit intro man man that's going to that's be- tragic oh. mm, 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 mm. Uh, anyway yeah Ferrari double diffuser Supposedly, where where are you getting this? It's rumors from the paddock and on the interwebs. That the interwebs. Yeah, I have a source in the paddock. Do you? I do. Take but, Kravitz. No, no, no. He's be- he's, he's more. He's better. Notebook. But sure, better. W- was the dis- diffuser debacle not all cleared up after two thousand and nine? Supposedly, but there, apparently there's been some creative design around the Coke bottle region in the Ferrari. Coke bottle. Side pod. If you if the back no the part no, the part that, no, like, tapers, neither. The part that like tapers in it looks like a coke bottle. If you look mm-hmm. at a coke bottle from the side, mm-hmm. do you know what the gearbox is like generally? Down around there, yeah. Okay, all right, and so they're getting a lot more downforce in the rear. Supposedly, yeah, and they reckon. And I mean, like, if we seen if we look at the actual two thousand and nine season, would Braun have won the championship without a no. double diffuser? No, no. no. category. Would Toyota no. have been? Competing for Grand Prix, Locked or who, else, who else had double diffusers in 09? Red Bull developed it in the second half of the season oh, and went on to win the did Force India. Won no, they didn't win anything that season. Did, no, Williams didn't. Force India didn't exist, did they? They did. No, they did. Should they? Did the pole in Spa. Pole Spa. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, um, they had fantastic two. Races Adrian Sutil, Fisichella. Just because of that, but just because of that uh, Spa race, he went on to get about, his Ferrari drive. About Ferrari, terrible. About Ferrari's double diffuser, is it going to bring them? Like, if it's true. Mm-hmm. And from what we're hearing from trackside reports that the Ferrari Vettel looks absolutely planted in the high speed corners. Not even that. It's like coming out of low speed corners he still has the ability to get on the throttle earlier. You were saying a couple of metres earlier than, mm. than most people. What tracks will this be most um, beneficial everywhere. for? Everywhere. 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 Yeah. Just mm. everywhere. But see, the thing is, is that and why are they illegal? Like it seems like a simple development that clearly brings a massive advantage. Why not just make them legal? Is they tried it costs? To, they tried to slow them down going into 2010. <clears throat> like they made the front mm-hmm. wheels. Yeah, because we used to have blown diffusers. In general, I don't think I think the FIA don't want the cars getting too quick for the circuits. But sure, they made them four seconds up quicker last year. Yeah, but it's coming up to a limit now. We're getting too quick. No, see, <laughs> well, like you're rendering corners pointless. Like you could say it, or Rouge like really isn't much of a corner now. In F1 what tracks anyway. will develop as cars Whoa. develop? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Radion isn't much of a corner. Eau Rouge is very much a corner. <laughs> the first part of it is, is Eau Rouge, the left. 
and yeah, and then up the hills rally on. Up the hills rally on. Everybody thinks it's uh, I, like, all route. Obviously, it is but like I'm just saying how it's flat out. I, my my point is is that you have a lot of bends that are now pretty. No, much. don't on, do not dare concede that point. Just because we have two anoraks in the room, okay? <laughs> no, 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 I, I was using it to get to another no. point. It's fucking a rouge, okay? It's what it is. Always has been. No, but no. And my, forever my, shall my issue be. is that there's less corners <laughs> that you have to break for. It. Can we rename it? <laughs> wait, no, wait. Okay, so, where were we? Okay. Go Going back to the mid 2000s, there was an issue that the cars were so fast, people trackside weren't <coughs> able to read the sponsorship on the cars. Mm-hmm. Which, obviously, as I was saying, Formula One's a company that sells sponsorship to other companies. They're not worried about the general fan. Yeah. And obviously, if like a, a large company isn't getting their brand name out there. For, say, a money company. For a money company. As I said before about Formula One, similar to Ferrari, they don't care about poor people. They don't. They really don't. And then 2008, uh, when they reduced the wings, that was nothing to do with downforce or speed or anything that was purely down to the fact of people weren't able to see sponsorship was broken up so much by wings that even if you were looking at <laughs> flush on there was issues in seeing it mm-hmm. so that's uh, I think it was Paddy Lowe was saying sorry in the 2014 Merck it had 30% more downforce than the McLaren of 08 really mm. well actually I'd leave that sure look at the low lap times like. 30% yeah. 30% is yeah. there any other feature that could actually produce that amount of downforce that wouldn't reduce straight line speed Fan car blown diffuser, <laughs> Bernie and his be fan fl- car. It has to be floor like the be blown diffuser that was banned because the FIA thought, well, we're taking an economical status here, uh, <coughs> so dumping fuel into a hot exaust isn't exactly the, <laughs> it's the such most an new idea. Usually, it's a terribly designed. It's like thing. let's keep let's keep petrol coming into the exhaust system while we're off the throttle. <laughs> it's like, it produced a fantastic <laughs> noise. Oh, it was fan. Fan, it was brilliant. brilliant. It, did, yeah, it was quite nice. It did sound quite nice. It was a bit like anti-lag. It was actually similar in a way. Uh, Renault's were well up the timesheets today. Renault looked very good. I'm very impressed with Renault. Yeah, stop vibrating. Yeah, I didn't think that was on vibrating. For sure. <laughs> I'm very... Guess what Todd done? Pissed the bed and Toddy was sweating. <laughs> Stuck feathers up his arse and Toddy could fly. <laughs> Go fly away there, birdie. Go fly, baby. Fly. Sign, yeah, but science and technology <coughs> seem to have been on a similar strategy. So what is it between them? 0.5 of a second? 0.05 of a second. It's very minute. Yeah. And like, that was what science having 10 less laps. He got the nice number. He got 69. <laughs> 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 Funny man. Who's going who's to win? I... Like, I mean, hang on. Are we, are we not going to give praise <laughs> to Toro Rosso? Why sober ahead of Mercedes? Toro Rosso knocked in another 169 laps. Because there were four composites, or composites, Jesus, four compounds softer. Yeah. That's than just, who? It just, looks, it just looks ridiculous. Than Merck. But they were still only 0.1 of a second faster. Mm. Over four compounds. Which Why is don't we just allow teams to bring whatever compound <laughs> the fuck they want to whatever Grand Prix and just leave it to them because that used to happen and then the teams had the issue of they had to bring like <coughs> seven compounds of every tyre to every race well, there's no you can bring you can bring two <laughs> well, com- n- now you're going putting regulations on you us. can bring two compounds <laughs> bring whatever you want whatever you think is best yeah. but but you have to decide the week before that's what we do the kind we bring of no 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 but i mean Pirelli i mean the weeks out. i mean like we never see we never see the ultra hard is super, there an ultra hard? There's super hard. hard? Super hard, okay. Well, <laughs> <laughs> the super hard has only started this season. Or what was the hardest compound last season? Hard. Was it used? Yes. When? In the... Malaysia? Yeah, it was, it was used, in Sp- it was used in Spain as well. Yeah, it was actually. Mm. That's that's why the poll time, like the, t- the compounds for the Malaysian, for the Spanish Grand Prix <coughs> were quite hard. So that's why the testing, that's why the times in testing were quicker than actual quality laps. Where mm. do you stand on using your quality tire for the race? I mean, I think every team, personally, I think every team should qualify on the on the hyper, and that's it. They've changed it though. So yeah. your t- the tires you start the race on are your quality two tires. Yeah, it's still stupid. Yeah, I, I it's think it's not as bad. We want if if we want to see cars as fast as possible, we need to be everyone needs to be out on the hypers for qualifying. Should you see it in Q three? Yeah, but I want to see it all the session long. No, well, no, they're not going that, to give 100% in Q2 and Q1 but that gets processional that was the issue with the refueling era as well is that tyres were hard as fuck and people refueled every like 10-15 laps and then it was just processional racing it was terrible mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. refueling ruined racing no refueling was amazing no in no. certain instances but not in general I no. mean I thought I thought the year in which we did Q3 with race fuel it was just it, it was a handicap. It brought more st- uh, strategy. Yeah, oh nine. I mean, 
we can't deny 09 was a fantastic year. It was year my for first year and it was fucking amazing. <laughs> Your first no, year. The anoraks are disagreeing. Properly, fully, fully, fully properly following it. Like. You didn't enjoy 2009, Evan? No, because I was a Lewis Hamilton fan. Yeah. <laughs> and he was at the back of the grid for the first half of the year. Well, personally, I loved 2009. Mm. I thought there was so... There, you, you sat down to watch the Grand Prix and you were like, oh, my God, Fisichel is on pole. <laughs> Will he have to pit at the end? Of the, <laughs> Will he have to go back and pit at the end of the first lap? Like, it's, it's just guaranteed. Yeah, that or 2012. Josh, I mean, more mind games was just amazing. Have you yeah. have you seen the new Merck side pod? I have actually. I seen there was a there was a, a comparison video on Facebook. James Allison. Yeah, it was quite boring. I I just I want <laughs> I want <laughs> he didn't talk with the wheelbase length, which was all I wanted to know. No, because everybody's got a long wheelbase. Because that's much more exciting. Why is everyone so <sighs> wheelbase? What? What do you mean wheelbase? <laughs> a lot more to the car than just the wheelbase everyone's like oh because Mercedes has a long wheelbase they yeah, can't but, drive around the corner like, but, <laughs> but I am not an anorak I just want I know shorter wheelbase cars are faster in some circuits longer wheelbase cars are more powerful and faster in other circuits I don't I'm not a tech, tech guy okay longer longer wheelbase cars are better because you have more you have more like surface space to like clean up dirty air and everything there you go but it doesn't make it on tight corners as well am I right yeah you're right yeah well yeah Makes sense. Life is a compromise. Well done. I mean, the Merck's a Life boat, a as you call it. It's a boat. So <laughs> We've a couple of boats now. Yeah, yeah no, I've seen the Ferrari comparison. Um, the only, the only thing I noticed was the, was the shape of the fin, and that's it. I mean, The side pods are noticeably smaller. Yeah, they're very They small. haven't got the bulge. It's, it's got a very skinny small. arse. The Ferrari has lovely side pods. It's got no bulge, and it's got a skinny arse. You've heard it here. Do you first. like... <laughs> <laughs> it's like the Merck side pods. Personally, I like them curves. <laughs> Do you like what uh, Ferrari have done with the the mirrors directing the air into the top? No that... idea what they've done with the mirrors. We've already talked about this. Yeah, you weren't paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, very it's good, a good idea. The, on the side pads, yeah, it's very good. So what about uh, McLaren's breakdowns? Nothing to read into. It's I, yeah, it's completely fine. Like They fucking went there and knocked out 151 laps today. You say that it's nothing to read into, but last I mean, year... it's a while since we've seen oil leaks. Not really. We're going to talk about oil, uh, oil burning. Uh, it's. I don't think we've ever seen re- Grand Prix engines do seven Grand Prix like. <laughs> like and we and we won't. New... And we won't. Every team's going to use four engines. Yeah. 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 No, I think I think that you're going to find somebody ridiculous like Cyber is going to take a chat. Well, probably because they can't afford the fourth engine. <laughs> <laughs> They're probably going to take a balls in. Frederick Vasseur just there like, oh no, you have no money. <laughs> so last year, the thing about McLaren failures is. If you talked about last year with the Honda engines, everybody was like, like you were saying, it's, you can't read into it. You can't read into a McLaren breaking down. But last year, because it was a Honda engine, everyone's like, oh, McLaren are fucked. McLaren are fucked. And have you seen on have you seen on social media, there's an absolute storm of fans ripped into McLaren saying, oh, the Honda engine was never reliable. was never unreliable. It's the it's the McLaren engineers. Because Tyre also have had no breakdowns with engines. Mm-hmm. And McLaren are now breaking Renault engines. Well, no, yeah, but <coughs> it's it's on the right track. Can I interject here though? Red Bull had two issues with their Renault <coughs> engines where they started leaking in the garage. It just so happened that McLaren had two leaking engines on track. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The first failure they had was a brake that broke, or sorry, a, a wheel nut broke. The next failure they had was the engine clip. That broke. Heavy breathing into my two dollar. <laughs> the next one was the clip on the exhaust broke. Melted the back of the car. The next one was Renault's batteries failed and they failed in the factory Renault and Renault came out and said, No lads, we take the blame for this one. So realistically, you can only really attribute one of those breakdowns to something McLaren may have done wrong. I do not believe reading into those McLaren issues or no, anything no. to go by. They, Plus, I they reckon had nothing really happens that much in the first I'm gonna week, say it here now. But you gotta fo- sorry, go they're gonna win at Monaco. Hands down. They're going to win by a mile. McLaren? Yeah. McLaren. Max, Max Verstappen has come out and said that McLaren don't... Like, McLaren are no worry for Rebel. Yeah, he was going to say that. Like, he's hardly going to say, yeah, we're, we're afraid of a team that's breaking down. No, you're, you're, no the thing is, you say that, but the main thing as a as a driver talking about your team is you try to build up another team. It's like, Vettel is always like, oh, Mercedes are our favourite, and then yeah. obviously Hamlin's going to say Ferrari are the favourites. Yeah, but if you go to anybody in the <clears> right mind and say to them, McLaren are the favourites, they're going to fucking laugh at you. <laughs> I'd laugh at you. Yeah, exactly. You see, but they could win Monaco. But have they jumped ship too soon? No, 
No. They jumped ship at the perfect time. It was but I mean, you got to look at Honda. Honda's reputation are on the line. Okay, they've now got a works team in Tara Rosso. They are engineers. The the amount of man hours they must be putting into working on that engine has to surpass every other team. Probably, but the issue is, it's still burning a lot of fuel. That like that, mm. they're but, gonna have to go. But slower. they will crack it. They will be a very competitive. I engine. I know I've mentioned it a few times before, but I have a lot of faith in James Key and with that engine. I do. I think Tara Rosso are gonna get a good few top. Like seventh or eighth place is this James year. Keeve building the car by hand himself. <laughs> can I just bring oh, <laughs> Can I just bring in a point? I was reading an article online. I was <laughs> saying that uh, if Red Bull take Honda say for next year, Taurus are going to lose their work status. Yes. What is the advantage of having work status? Work status means that they'd have the advantage <clears throat> of going to uh, Honda and saying we want the engine to look like this, whereas now at the minute. Honda are basically going to Tara Ross and saying, this is what we've got, put it in your car. This is oh, part okay. of the argument of why McLaren are doing as well as the other two Renault power teams because they've had to adjust the installation of the engine. Mm-hmm, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, I mean, they just need Ross Braun's hammer. They do. I mean, the he can make hammer. anything fit. Bang. I'm hearing you swallowing a lot. Yeah, I'm hearing a lot of swallowing. Yeah. Do you always swallow? <laughs> <laughs> that was a funny joke we can't so, put that in um, we can't oh, no. thank that's you. going to be a cut no, 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 no. <laughs> that's the end of that episode is, is it? Yeah. Is it? we'll, we'll talk about everything have we? Yeah, but how many minutes have we made? about 20 so we're going to round up this episode with a bit of discussion about this test 2 mm. what do we it's think? test 1 well, like, <laughs> <laughs> it's test 1 day 7 it's test 2 day 3 well, whatever oh. kind of day it is right Shut up, Force India are fucked. They are fucked. Well fucked. Called it. They haven't. Well, I'm gonna say they haven't done many laps. They did 159 today. <laughs> but it doesn't matter because it's not the car they're bringing to Melbourne. Yeah, that's right. They're just testing like, the Mercedes remember? engine. They're just making data for Mercedes so they can maybe get some engine maps. Lads, every time you look at the Autosport Live, Mercedes powered cars are just pumping in laps. So every car is pumping in laps though yeah. today. Like look, look at the Ferrari. Vettel did 188 laps on his own. Yeah, I know, and but then like, next was another Ferrari engine with 153 laps. Was it 2015 where Force India brought in the B spec car after three or four races and it completely transformed them? Yes. And like that, the current curve that they're on was because of that change. Sorry, fill us in Is, on that. What? Yeah, they in 2015 they they were pretty much rubbish in the first flyaway races, and then they brought a B spec car for Barcelona, and then like the current, like they're in fourth place. That current trajectory they're on. Is because of that car. Now it looks like they're doing the same sort of thing this year, but they're bringing in for Melbourne. But that's not so, that's not how you win. That's not how, that's not how you, like that's not how you get a top three finish in a championship. You need your like fair enough. It was a good car, but you need your a spec car. We're at talking testing. about the Aero. Sorry, we're can I use that testing? The FW fourteen B. Oh, the B. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it was quite quite a successful B spec car. Sure, it's not. It's like didn't Ferrari bring the F two thousand and four to the two thousand and five season? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Anorex, can you explain to me? <laughs> F2004. Why is there B-spec cars? Are they not identical? It's a redesign. No, it's a full redesign. Okay, so it's just different paths of... Um, Philosophy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, like, the... Do you remember it was when the two holes came in, in the nostrils of the Force India? Yes. Yeah, that was the B-spec. Remember, oh. remember before that, it had, like, a solid nose? Mm. Oh. A big nose. Big nose. Big noses. Big remember, like, it was the... Type <laughs> <laughs> nose, big <laughs> socks. It was the type Last of the dildo noses, and then they, like, switched <laughs> to the Hoovery nose. <laughs> <laughs> Big. Stop yeah. doing that. Man, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, Toro Rosso look healthy. Like I, I, I mean, what 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 are what are Toro Rosso's targets? I know they said third I, in the championship, but that's not going to happen. I think they could, where's, um, where, where's realistic? I reckon they could scalp Williams, and they'll probably scalp Haas along the way as well. Easily, yeah. Uh, I think they yeah, can do it. Agreed. If, will they challenge Force India? Yeah, they'll beat Force India. I, I, I don't know if they'll beat Force India, but they'll definitely be fighting with them regularly. It'll come down to the whole power circuit versus. Yeah, I think it'll come into the wrong No, do you know what it'll come down to? Ocon and Paris crashing into each other. Lads, Force India could come out with an absolute blinder. Like, we just don't know. <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> no, we're fairly certain. I know. Fairly they, certain. I know they won't. Come out with a blinder. So, that's it for this episode. Thanks for tuning in again. So. The podcast with more names than episodes. Yeah. Well, no, we have the same amount of names as this, episodes. This will be our fourth episode. This will be our fourth episode. Wow. We finally have more names than... No. <laughs> more episodes than names. Finally more episodes than names. I so, saved you. You did save me. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Thank, thanks for listening. Stay tuned. Bye-bye. Sure. Subscribe. Bye. Take it handy. Just subscribe. Just there. Yeah. There. There. In the corner. Are we stuff on the screen? Subscribe <laughs> there. Thank you. We Bye. got annotations. Bye. 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 Bye.
Shut up and sit down.